Hello students, welcome back. This is a question from GATE 2003 exam. It's for two marks. Just have a look at the statement. It reads, the literal count of a Boolean expression is the sum of number of times each literal appears in the expression. For example, the literal count of xy plus xz bar is 4. What are the minimum possible literal counts of product of sum and sum of product? representations respectively of the function given by the following k map here x denotes a don't care okay you can just have a look at this k map i've drawn it here now we need to determine the minimal sop and pos rather we don't need the exact expression but we need the literal count for that let us group all the ones first that means let us try to find out the SOP, minimal SOP. You can see we have a 1 here. Let's start from this one. And all these are don't cares. Okay, that means we can assume these don't cares to be 1. And this one can be grouped like this. Okay, so we have a group of 4. Now this one is done. Okay, let's uh, group these two. Some of you might think a group of four is possible. Okay, you might take this group of four, but that is incorrect. Let us see why is that incorrect. Okay, leave this one first. Let's group this one. This one can be grouped in two ways. Either you can group it uh, like this. Or you can group it like this. Any one is fine. Okay. Let's go with this grouping. Now let's see how to group this one. See, there are two choices. First choice is you make a group of four. Second choice is you make a group of two like this. Okay. We always prefer bigger groups. But here, if you make a bigger group, you will make two groups okay see a group of four only includes this one but a group of two includes all the ones that are left okay that is the reason you will prefer this grouping i'll just repeat it once again see if you form this group it will have three literals okay a group of two always has three literals but if you form this group Forming this group, you will have two literals plus to include this one. You will either form this group or you will form this group. That will have three literals again. Okay. So this one has five literals and you will not go for this grouping. Okay. And moreover, it's clear from here that even if you form such a group, even if you form such a group, like this it is not essential okay because you cannot find even a single one which is not uh, grouped by some other prime implicant so you have it or you don't have it it's one and the same thing because all the ones are already grouped okay so it's better not to include this group now let's find out the literal count so this one is a group of four okay so for this prime implicant you will be having two literals okay for this prime implicant this one it is a group of two you will be having three literals and this one is also a group of two you will again have three literals okay so the answer is six plus two which is eight now let's group these. So here we are going to find out the POS. That means we need to group all the zeros. Let's do that. Let's start from here. Okay. You can see these two can be grouped together. Or you can make a group of two like this. Or you can also make a group of four. So we will always prefer the bigger group. So group of four is possible, go with it. 
Now you can see this zero can be grouped only in one way. Rather, we have two ways uh, like this or like this. Okay, so I'm going with this one. But you can take like this group also or this group also. It doesn't really matter because size of both the groups is two only. Okay. Now these three zeros are left. For grouping these two zeros, you again have two methods. A group of four like this or a group of four like this. Okay, let's go with this one. Now only one zero is left. You can see only way of grouping this zero is a group of four like this. Actually, you can have you can have a group of two, but we always prefer bigger groups. So I'm going with the group of four like this. Okay. Now let's write down the literal count for this one. This is a group of two. Group of two means you will be having three literals. Three literals. And these three are group of fours. Group of fours means you will have you will be having two literals only. So two plus two plus two for these three groups or three prime implicants. So this will be six plus three, which is nine. So they were asking what is the minimum possible literal counts of POS and SOP? So first of all, we need to write down POS, which is nine, then SOP, which is eight. Answer is nine comma eight. You can see 9 comma 8 is not present in the options. Okay, so there's a small mistake in this question. They haven't mentioned the correct answer. Anyways, it was a good question. So according to me, what the person who formed this question thought, he also took this group into account. Okay, so you can see here we are getting the answer as 8. But if you consider this group, and you group this one like this, or this one can be grouped like this also, okay? In that case, you will get your answer as 10. Let's see how. This is 2, 2 plus 3, it is 5. Then again plus 2, that is 7. Again plus 3, that is 10, okay? Now, even though writing down these expressions are not necessary, still I'll write down. You can just verify. It's for practice. Yeah, one more point. So, 9,10, even though some books say that 9,10 could be your answer, but I don't agree because they're asking minimum possible literal count. This one, uh, if you take it to be 10, it's not minimum. So 9 comma 10 is wrong. And this question is erroneous. Okay. So none of those is correct. Answer is this only. So these are the minimal possible SOP and POS for this question. Now I'm not saying these are the only answers that depends on your grouping. Okay. For example, in this case, if you make a group of two like this, okay, that one will still be minimal and correct answer. Okay. According to my grouping, you'll get this answer. Here also you can see to group these two zeros, you can make a group of four like this. Okay. So you'll get some different answer, but according to this grouping, this one is the minimal expression. Okay.